Hey everyone, Chris at Surface Autopilot here. I want to show you a couple of quick routing tips inside of Service Autopilot. I know for a lot of you it's the beginning of your season, you're bringing on a lot of new clients, you're reorganizing your routes for the year, and I just want to show you a couple of quick things that you can do on the dispatch board to help smooth that process out. So let's dive into the system here and take a look. So I'm here on the dispatch board. We're looking at one day here, March 30th, 2016. I've only got 23 jobs here, but both of these concepts can still apply with a large volume of jobs, a larger than this or, or smaller than this in terms of job volume. The first tool that I want to show you is proximity search. What's great about proximity search is it can be a really quick and easy to use tool to help you figure out which route, meaning which crew, I want to assign a job to. If I've got a new customer and I know that I want to give, I want to assign their job on Mondays, but I'm not exactly sure which crew I want to give it to, I can use this tool and I'll show you how it works. I'm going to set my mileage threshold. That's what this is right here. Jobs within X. This is a mileage threshold. So I'm going to say two miles. We'll do something really short here. And then I'll give a valid address. So let's pretend that this was the address of our new customer that we're bringing on board. So now when I refresh the page, it's going to come back and show me in green all of the jobs that are within two miles of this property. Any job that's in red, and I know on the video sometimes it's hard to see this red, but these two jobs, for example, these are in red, and so I know that those fall outside of the threshold. So the goal here, now in this case, I have a couple of different clusters of green, but the goal is to find clusters of green throughout the dispatch board once you've run this proximity search, because what that would tell you is that there is a group of jobs, that a, a certain crew is doing a group of jobs that all match this criteria. If you just see a handful of jobs scattered here and there, uh, highlighted in green, then chances are the route itself is probably not built very well. And we'll talk about in a minute how to fix that. But hopefully you have some clusters of green that show you that you've got a group of people that you're already in that general area of. And so that's probably going to be the best crew to do that job. And again, this applies. I could scroll through this if I had a couple hundred jobs here and still see those clusters of green. Alternatively, I can also use this to not only figure out what crew to put the job on, but also what day of the week to put the job on. Right now, I'm filtered to only one day, March 30th, but I could just as easily have this set to a whole week's worth of jobs. And again, if you're familiar with the dispatch board, you would know that the jobs are first ordered by the date of service and then by the crew that they're assigned to. So as you scroll vertically, you would be going day by day through whatever date range you had set here. So again, the concept of looking for the clusters of green still apply. It's just in that case, you would also be getting some good insight as to which days of the week you have crews close by this property. So this is one of my favorite tools in the system. I use it all the time. Proximity searching, really good for finding where to place new customers in their route. Now let's just say that you're kind of starting from scratch with your routes. What's a good way to just divvy the jobs out crew by crew? Something that I like to do here, let me close out my proximity search. I like to use the map for this purpose. So for this example, I'm going to reassign all of my jobs. I'll check them all off and click edit jobs and I'll reassign them to unassigned. And it's going to take away all of the existing crew assignments that I've got for these jobs. What we're going to do from here is pull the jobs up on the map. I'll check them off again and I'll click show map. And it's going to drop pins on the map. And right now they're all black because they're unassigned. And I'll zoom in a little bit. It drops pins on the map for each one of those jobs. And what's really cool about this is I can now use this group selection tool. I'll click on that and I can draw 
areas around my map. I just click, click, click all the way around. And so I'm going to take this whole cluster of jobs here. Looks like 16 jobs just in this area. And now I'm going to check them off and give them to an individual crew. Now, if I'm doing this at the beginning of my season, chances are I'm going to want to check this box that says permanent. That way this crew would get those jobs for every single occurrence of them throughout the year. That way I'm not having to rebuild my routes every single day. So then we would just click update and it's going to go through. Now, if you're permanently updating this, this could take a little bit of time as far as going out into the future and updating all of your jobs, but it's going to go through those jobs one by one and permanently set the assignment to whichever crew you selected. So we'll give it a minute here to finish up. Okay. Now all of those jobs are now assigned to crew one. So then I could just repeat the process for my remaining unassigned jobs. I would come here to the top of the page. I would filter down to a specific resource of unassigned, and then I can apply my resource or excuse me, apply my filter. And now I would check these jobs off. Let me hide the map. Now I can check them. We'll show the map again. Let me clear this selection out. So now I have the remaining unassigned jobs. And again, I could just repeat the process. I could grab this little cluster right here. And now I can assign those jobs. So I hope these two tips have helped you. Again, they're really good ways to help you rebuild routes at the beginning of a season. If you're a new customer with Service Autopilot and we've just imported your information in, but you're kind of wanting to deconstruct and then reconstruct your routes again, these are a couple of good ways to do that. Again, the proximity searching tool, mostly used for fitting new customers into existing routes that are already good to go. And then also this tool where we draw around the map Again, you'll want to preemptively move all of your jobs to an unassigned status before you do that. And then you can draw around the map and make your crew assignments that way. So again, hope this was helpful for you. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check out the blog at serviceautopilot.com for great information like this and more. Once again, my name is Chris. Thanks for watching.